Welcome back to wagertalk.com. We're shifting gears and heading into the NFL. We're going to have a best bet from Don Buster. Before we get to you, Don, we're going to start with you, Brian, as we take a look at Oakland and Tennessee. A uh, lot of talk about uh, these two teams. They're kind of the sexy picks with a lot of people. Oakland obviously had the great year going last year until Derek Carr got hurt. Tennessee, uh, a lot of people thought they were a sleeper last year in their division, a division that a lot of people feel is wide open this year again. Mariota, does he make that next step forward and take this team to the promised land? I'll start with you and how are you seeing this one? Yeah, two exciting young quarterbacks. Um, Oakland, I believe, I'm, I'm not a big fan of preseason, but I don't believe they won a preseason game. Um, and actually, Tennessee's taken a little bit of money. This opened up the other way. Uh, so Tennessee's been taking money. Um, Oakland, you would expect some regression, but hey, we talked about that all year, year last year and it made us look like fools. So, <laughs> um, But I still think the math says that Oakland's going to have some regression here. Um, I think Tennessee's probably the right side as long as you're not laying the three. If you get them under three, it's the... It's the the right side in this game, but uh, these are two teams going to put some good points on the board, and I like both the quarterbacks. So I, I think this is going to come down to the turnovers. Whoever wins the turnover battle is probably going to win the, and cover the spread, but uh, it's not my pick. I don't really have much on this one. I'm, I'm sure uh, since you're, it's your best bet, I think you've got an opinion on this one. All right, Don, we're going to kick it over to you, and obviously uh, Tennessee took that money uh, from the early opener. It actually, as Brian said, opened up Oakland, a one-and-a-half point favorite. Now we're looking at them as a two-and-a-half point dog. Uh, does it get to that three? I don't think so because I don't think Vegas wants to have that kind of a middle there with a, a key number of three. That's, that would just cause so many nightmares. Well, uh, they didn't have it out there very long. There wasn't a lot of people betting into it, I don't think. The uh, True uh, with the early numbers in preseason. Tennessee, they have the strong running game to go with uh, Mariota, which always is going to help him out. One of the big additions, and you don't like to get too excited when you watch preseason, but it looks like there's a nice chemistry developing between Mariota and Eric Decker, giving him a receiver that they went out and got last year. And he's a good guy that will go over the middle for you. He'll make those possession passes. And going over the middle is where you want to go with Mariota because a lot of people have said he can't make the out throws. So, how are you seeing this one? <clears throat> you guys are right with uh, with Oakland uh, coming out, starting out as the uh, favorite and uh, all the Tennessee money. I actually believe Joe Public will get involved uh, come Saturday, Sunday, and you might see this line back back at a pick. Uh, that's, that's the way I see it that way. Um, as far as uh, for Tennessee, they actually have, and it's kind of weird that the scheduler would make, the NFL scheduler would make this game, you know, I call it, and, and it's unfortunate, the the broken leg bowl, right? <laughs> uh, unfortunately, and now they put them together. Like I was, uh, you know, for fans of Tennessee and fans of Oakland, when that happened for those two teams, that was, you know, it was heartbreaking for the NFL too, right? So then, in a cruel trick, they put these guys together the opening day of, the, of, of this year, right? But uh, what, what does happen is that Tennessee has uh, got double revenge against Oakland. Oakland went in there, beat them two years ago, 24-21. They beat them last year, 17-10. And just what Brian was saying, what happened last year? Actually, Tennessee outyarded them uh, 393 to 360, I believe, 64. They outyarded them. Three turnovers by Tennessee basically cost them that game. Uh, we see the rushing. They ran for 185 yards against them last year. There's no difference. Uh, Oakland was 26 in uh, the points, the total points on, uh, in yards gained. I don't see anything changing there. Yeah, Carr's going to be back with Cooper and all his other assets, but uh, I, I really think it's going to come down to Tennessee in that fourth quarter is going to pound them and give and try and basically eat that clock up so Carr's not on that field enough to maybe to get the win. So we really, uh, yeah, we really like Tennessee, and like I say, I really believe at the end of the day, Joe Public's going to be on Oakland, so I always want to be on the other side. Yeah, I just wanted to make a point about the Oakland. Uh, obviously, Oakland and San Francisco, close to Las Vegas, when they have good teams, the lines are being bet here. Now that Oakland is going, obviously, the, going to uh, Las Vegas for the Raiders, there's even more love for the Raiders. So if you've got lines in town, if you've got lines offshore, it would not surprise me if this, uh, there's some middle opportunities here 
because Oakland's going to be uh, favored a lot more in Las Vegas than they will be offshore. We saw a lot more interest just th during the preseason. There were viewing parties for preseason Raiders games around town. <laughs> when have you ever seen anything like that, Brian, for preseason? So there you go. Don says to take Tennessee. Uh, he's going to lay the points with Tennessee on Sunday against the Raiders. Uh, I think we're going to see a lot of points scored in this one. I think that's going to be the M.O. Uh, with the Raider games all year. They've got a great offense as long as Carr stays healthy, but I haven't seen anything that's changed on the defensive side, which is funny because Del Rio's always been a defensive guy. You know, his whole, yeah, players. yeah he, he, that's true. Uh, but we'll see what happens on Sunday. Best bet from Don says to take Tennessee, lay the points. And don't forget, you can use that coupon code BUSTER10. Save yourself $10 on any package this weekend. It's good once per household all through Monday. That's Buster and the number 10. Save $10 at Wager Talk. We'll be back with more here at wagertalk.com.